What's up, YouTube? CJD here from Chris's Junkyard Designs. I've got a couple customs to show you that I finished. Um, the video now, by the time I release it, I'll make sure everybody has their packages first. And then I'll put the video out. <clears throat> Let me get shipped off tomorrow. So this one is part of my buddy build that I did with Lee from Paints Wicked. Um, he likes 60 Nova casting, and I have an extra one, so... And it was funny because he sent me a custom. I don't have it here right now with the shark mouth. And I was going to do the same thing. His looks completely different, but it's just funny how we both thought of the same um, scheme, if you could say. But yeah, I did this one up in the um, metal cast green. Uh, I think she came out pretty sweet. She was primed and silvered and green. Um, took these tires and. Added the red around it and put some red in the grill. And the interior's only got a little bit done. I left it a plain black. I think it looks better that way on this casting, in my opinion. Um, it's got a license plate, fully detailed in the front and the back, of course. And we'll take a closer look here. And we got the bombs running there down the hood. Got some decals in the back I tinted the back windows what that would look cool with this build here there's the tail lights the license plate a little bit underneath done up we got the front end done and like I said not too much on the inside I did do a custom steering wheel with you know 3d printed steering with a brown like a wood grain bang I did the Shifter and a couple gauges and that stuff in there, but nothing major in there. Just easy stuff. So, uh, Lee, I hope you like it. Well, I think it came out pretty awesome. I was gonna do a two-tone paint, and then I tried it a couple. It just wasn't looking right on this car. I don't know. I just didn't like it. I was trying silver and green. And wasn't feeling it. Not for this car. So I just painted. I stripped it, painted all green. It wasn't coming out the way I wanted it to. So. I hope you enjoy it. Um, hope you like green. I'm sure you do, but I think she came out pretty freaking sweet. I love it. I love these shark ones with the bombs on. I do so many. I love doing these. I think it's cool looking on any car. They look good. They're all made for gassers. They get, but you can use them like you can see on any car you want. Just do what you want with it. Put them where you want. So, pretty cool. Of course, she's a roller. All right, so I hope you enjoy this, Lee. Love your custom, that's for sure. And then I got another custom here I did at the same time. Um, and I made this for Steve at Miniature Mustangs. Um, this is the premium Mustang. I had an extra one, that blue one from Fast and Furious. So I was originally going to use the wheels for another build. I had it drilled out, and it didn't work for what I wanted. So, since I had it drilled out and everything, I said, might as well make it custom. And I said, I'm doing this, so I might as well do one with the same colors and everything. I think this one came out awesome, too. Um, she's fully decked out. The interior is done a little more on this one. I did the seats on this one. Uh, more of a modern car. They have a lot of two-tone seats and everything. More of the muscle cars, they, they really don't do that too much. So, that's why I left it that way. I think she came out freaking awesome. And the wheels, again, were just black. I put the red lip around it, and the center cap's red. And I did the red around the front grille, just to pull it all in, and some red uh, details in the interior. I think it looks cool when you do it that way. I like it that way. So, we'll take a closer look. U.S. Air Force right there. Put a star in the bottom corner there. We got. I didn't do the license plate on this one. I think it looked good on this one. We got that lip there. The bombs going down the hood as well. I like doing that. Another star there. Yeah, I actually came out pretty cool. I did the headlights up. And then, I don't know how good I'll be able to get in this interior, but it's all done up. 
I didn't put a different steel because it's got that flat one that's molded like right in right next to it so I just left it it's pretty crappy steel really put in there you can't even really cut off so I just left it and this glass was already a little tinted so I didn't darken it I just left it the way it was yeah and then I gotta put my sticker on the bottom still I have to do that today I forgot but yeah she is all done up so I think both of them came out pretty sweet I like them I'll be doing more of these patterns in the future that's for sure I'm actually doing one for another buddy of mine that I bought specific for a certain vehicle so I'll be working on that after the pink car that I want to get done that I had to get done for February so so I hope you guys enjoyed it um, let me know what you think hopefully Lee and Steve enjoy their customs. I love doing it when I have the time. When the weather is good, it's more more of the thing now. This time of year, the weather just sucks. So it took it takes me a very long time to get customs done. And today's not too bad of a day, but I don't have anything ready to paint yet. So we'll see how this week goes. Let's see if we can get out there. So I'm enough rambling. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks again for all the likes and the comments. Take care. Have a great day.